Hi guys, in this episode of Thylobites, we're going to be re-examining the, th the alleged thylacine footprint in the mud evidence. And we're going to use the tools that we gave you in the thylobite episode on identifying thylacine footprints to analyse that alleged evidence. So by way of recap, here we have the hind foot for the thylacine for toes and I want you to pay particular attention to these two grooves. Now in the episode on identifying the footprint I mentioned that these were quite unique characteristics for a thylacine print and the front foot you can see again the two grooves that are running forward. The fifth toe here isn't shaded because quite often it doesn't appear in historical prints. So here we have it. This over here is the footprint in the mud found in northwest Tasmania about two years ago. So you can see the, the four prints, uh, the four paw prints here. And I want you to pay particular attention to this area here and this area here. Okay? And then compare that to these two grooves here. Now these are characteristic grooves found only in thylacine prints and as you can see in the example of the dog print here and whilst uh, Chris and Bill found footprints that were a very similar shape to this when they went to the beach they didn't find ones that had these two distinctive grooves so I think that uh, this is makes this print quite intriguing indeed so where does that place us on the skeptometer for this? So here's our skeptometer out of 10. I think that if this uh, um, print is taken um, in 2012, 2013, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. So more than likely it's not a thylacine in my view, so it's probably a large dog. Uh, as strange as that might seem for a remote area, there are hunting dogs in the area from time to time and uh, there's always a chance of a, a wild or a feral dog. If this print was taken in 1920, my skepto skeptometer for it would be 8 out of 10 saying that it would be most likely to have been a thylacine. Unfortunately it was taken in 2011 and, uh, and not uh, sort of 1920 so that's my analysis of this print. Pretty intriguing uh, a little bit of a slightly different angle to it than uh, previously uh, seen. Um, I'll let you make up your mind perhaps uh, put your assessment in the box below. That's it for this episode of Thylobites See you soon.